we have finally arrived in Phuket, Thailand. Now, this is gonna be my first video ever, my first travel vlogging video, sharing my experiences on what it's been like to enter a new country and everything from all the experiences and stories so far that I've managed to accumulate over the first night and in the first morning. Now, as you see, I'm staying at the Nippa Resort here in Patong in Thailand. We're pretty much near the main strip where everything goes down. And that was where we first visited, where we spent about seven hours. I didn't end up sleeping to about 4, um, 4 a.m. here in Thailand, which is roughly 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. back in Australia, which means I stayed up for 26 hours straight. Now, here are my experiences so far. First impressions entering the Thailand airport. Um, let's say it's, it's uh, every man for himself. So everyone is trying to get money from you immediately. That was first impressions. You pay this guy money to skip uh, 100 people, he'll take money and you skip 100 people. Now, I had some people that I was traveling with where one guy just transferred over 200 Australian dollars to, to butt and that's how we were able to get from the airport itself to where we were meant to be staying right here in Nippa Resort. Going from the airport to here, very, very cheap. We got one massive minibus. It only costed us, I believe it was 1,200 baht for 11, 11 people. So translate that to Australian dollars. I mean, you're looking at 30. $30 per person, if that. Then we had to do, we paid for express uh, skipping of the line, where that was 200 baht, which again is about $8 Australian. Then we arrived immediately in Nippa Resort. We pre-prepaid pre for that. Um, it was a total of 650 Australian dollars. And keep in mind, we're staying here for seven days. Once we got on the strip, we immediately found the best currency exchange. Now, these currency exchanges here in Thailand itself, like on the main strip and in Patong itself, is significantly better than anywhere else you would find. Most banks as well have a 3% conversions. Now I'm referring to your normal local bank. It could be in the US, the UK or Australia. They have like a 3% conversion. I have a Macquarie bank account at 0% conversion. But just to be safe, we just transferred cash to cash. That's what we went about doing. We exchanged a bunch of cash for cash and then Immediately, we hit the strip. The first thing I did is I went to a local restaurant. I got some meat, some kafta, some you name it. I got it. I got some fresh coconut juices. Unbelievable. Then straight after that, we split up into different groups. Some groups went off, did their own thing. Some group, uh, groups went off, did clubbing. I myself, I just pretty much did a bit of everything really. Shot some BB guns, which was sick because in Australia, they're completely illegal. That was something that I've been itching to do and... Later on today, which you'll see in the next next video, I'll be sh shooting actual real guns. There's a massive itinerary of what we plan on doing. I'm so bloody keen for this trip. We still have six more days. Now, here are my final conclusions so far of Thailand itself. Now, I am gonna be blunt. If you're not happy with what I say, it is what it is. But this is my experience and it's just my opinion. Roads from the airport to where we are staying now is pretty much identical to Sydney. The roads are pretty much the same. What I did realize is it's pretty much trash at every single light pole. There's trash everywhere. Once we got onto the strip itself, I'm gonna be blunt, it smelled like absolute ah, shit. There's just shit everywhere, it just smelled like shit. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it was the durian or it was just, yeah, it just stunk like shit. Probably just, it was most likely just that trash that was laid about everywhere and didn't get cleaned up. Now, that was a different experience this morning, by the way. I, I walked this strip this morning to get some breakfast at a, I pretty much, I, I think it was an Australian, I think it was an Australian restaurant. It had like Australian food and English food, but the strip didn't stink like that this morning and there wasn't trash there. So I think it's just a night thing. So if you are gonna walk the strip at night time, do keep in mind that you, you're gonna, you're just gonna stink like shit, all right? Um, other than that, the air quality is completely different in Sydney. That's another thing I realized. I've got very sensitive lungs, not bronchi bronchitis, it's just super sensitive lungs to where any smoking, which that's another point by the way, any smoking, it hits me like a ton of bricks. So the air quality, the smell, one more thing. Now this one, I really don't like this one. I, I don't like that they made this change here in Thailand because it wasn't like this one and a half, two years ago, I've been told. 
cannabis, marijuana, marijuana. Ah, well, no good. Every second store, there is a cannabis marijuana store, marijuana store, whatever you want to call it. However you translate it to in your culture, your country, every second store is a cannabis store. Everyone's trying to sell you weed here. Now, if you have sens sensitive lungs like me, you are going to hate, you're going to hate it because you're pretty much getting secondhand whiffs every single step you take and <laughs> you better keep hydrated on water, otherwise, yeah, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks, all three of these things, the smell, the uh, pollution, I wouldn't call it pollution, it's just thicker, thicker, look, the air quality is not the great, not the greatest in comparison to where I'm from, Sydney, and the other thing was the cannabis smell is just thick, heavy, and doesn't matter where you're going on that strip, you're going to cop whiffs upon whiffs and everyone oh my goodness everyone is trying to scamaz you everyone is trying to touch you pull you in grab you sell you things it's a free-for-all every man for himself and i'm not gonna touch base on the obvious the obvious being um how can i put this lightly i don't think i should mention it the uh <laughs> the uh she males can i say that i don't know the uh, she males here in Thailand, they're bloody abundant. And you've got to be very careful of, very careful. Let's just keep it out there. you just got to be very, very careful. And you, you have to be a comfortable person. I, I don't like people touching me and I had to suck it up. It is what it is. This is just, it is what it is. You just have to live with it. People just touching you. I wasn't wearing this, by the way. I was wearing a t-shirt. So if I was wearing this, it would have been even worse. But people just touching you, grabbing you. Trying to make you buy them drinks and some positives, amazing positives, amazing people. So the actual, when, when the party life is not going off, the Thailand people are amazing people. Very respectful, very nice culture. That's another thing I've realized. The food that I've tried so far. Now I'm going to be taking you on food vlogs as well here in Thailand. Some street food vlogs, some sweets, whatever you can get my hands on. I'm going to vlog everything. Um, we also have a bunch of things planned, jet skis, go-karting, ATVs, maybe the Tigers, definitely shooting. Um, there's a lot of things planned, but those are most of the positives that have come out of Thailand so far. It is a massive cultural shock for me, especially coming out of Sydney. One other thing, like, I don't really care about this. Like, I, don't, I don't care about money, right? But just expect to get undercut in most places. Like, if you don't check how much change they're giving you in return. Now, I'm not talking about restaurants. I'm not talking about family-owned businesses. I'm not talking about those more well-known shops. I'm talking about your, your average Joe convenience store in the corner. For example, we walked into, into a convenience store. And there's a bag behind me over there. And we just bought basic toiletries. Basic toiletries. And the lady scanned an extra two things that we didn't purchase. And it didn't make sense because she was like, buy one, get one free. But she scanned the additional things and she put it in the back. So basically, she scanned additional products that we didn't even purchase, and she was saying, yeah, buy one, get one free. But then she gave me change that was less than the actual items that I wanted to purchase. And then I bring it up to her, and all the locals were pretty much just like, yeah, no, buy one, get one free. But then we try to explain that. She scanned the additional items, but I didn't want to deal with it, to be honest. I don't really care. So we ended up just taking the stuff and leaving. That's one example. Another funny, <laughs> funny thing here is, a lot of things that are completely illegal in Australia, expect to find them here. I.e. first one obviously is the marijuana. Second one, steroids. You can walk into any bloody pharmacy and <laughs> they get steroids. Oh my, God. I don't know if I can record that. I'm pretty sure I can't record that here on YouTube, so I'm not gonna. The other thing was random drugs that are, are prescription only in Australia, you're gonna find them here. I stay away from absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. So just keep that in mind. Those are my experiences so far. It's been a hell of a trip so far and there's still plenty of time. Now look, I'm a blunt person, so if you found anything offensive, I didn't mean for it to be offensive. I'm a very respectful person of any culture and it's just my experiences, like my opinions on things. Again, I'm not, I don't mean to be offensive on anyone or any culture or anything. It's just, uh, yeah, this is what I, I do. I just review things and make travel videos and soon there's going to be many more videos to come here in thailand so i hope you've enjoyed this video you've enjoyed this review i hope to see you in the following videos 
where I'll be taking you along with me to the strip in and around all the experiences we'll be experiencing here in Phuket, Thailand. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.